Be forewarned. Language warning. I'm rather pissed off. Honestly, people, I don't understand anymore. Every single time I look at just the overall stupidity, denial, and just overall lies. even care if you believe in the NWO. It needs to be stated that there are certain events occurring right now, right now, that are going to push this country over the edge, and we may not recover from it. Think about it, people. Japan is radioactive. It's going in the fucking dark. There are reports coming out of Japan that one of the fucking nuclear cores is exposed. And that there's another problem, being that one of the reactors is a combination uranium and plutonium reactor. And that should that thing go, that thing go, oh, you can bet you're gonna have, you're gonna see a lot of three-eyed fish. The Gulf of Mexico is dead due to oil spills and chemical dispersant. We've got an illegal government, a government that is out of control with no regard for any law or limitations at all. We've been thrown into another, another half-assed war that we are ill prepared for we do not have the money have the money or the resources at this time to fight Libya I'm sorry those cruise missiles that we fired totaled in total cost over 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 a hundred thousand dollars in the first five minutes we spent over five million fucking dollars firing cruise missiles at Libya I mean it's another war another half ass war no oh no fly zone I'm sorry but even if the war is illegitimate you cannot half-ass it. You just can't. No fly zone ain't gonna do no good over there. Not with that monkey and his and his cult. It is. It's a fucking cult. I. I'm not. I. Just think about it. I mean, this man puts up pictures of himself of himself and acts like he's a fucking god. Gaddafi, another, another lunatic dictator. Our troops are spread too thin. We don't have the money to pay off our debts. China's fudging its military muscle. If you rem recall last year, they completed a refit of their army. Their AK-47s have been retired for a new assault rifle. They started production on a fucking stealth fighter plane that is next generation. And I wouldn't be surprised if it came from military secrets. Someone when in our government sold them. Would not be surprised in the least. And 
all the while, you know, we just ignore it. Really? I can't comprehend this anymore. Everyone has gone fucking nuts. Japan's radioactive, and they're saying that, oh, the radiation, it's harmless, and bullshit. You've had four reactors go off. Four. Two exploded. The third one, the other two caught on fire. There are some saying that Japan might even sink into the ocean. I'm not gonna... I can't claim that I can't I can't substantiate those those claims but the evidence is out there and it needs to be evaluated because if it's true you're gonna end up with a disaster far worse There's swine flu starting starting up back up again. They thought it wasn't gonna be a problem. Looks like that's back in the news again. There's some kind of weird untreatable treatable germ or bacteria or virus or some damn thing that's appearing in California. They can't they can't kill the damn thing. That's going through the roof. I mean, honestly, I don't understand it. The world's going to hell, and everybody's fucking concerned about Lindsay see Lohan, see Lohan, and if she threw up, up in, up in, up in public. Hell. I, I, I cannot understand this world anymore. Hell, I saw, I saw a news story. 90-year-old veteran. He was born, he was born in some foreign country. Fought in World War II, you know, they told him in the 1930s or 40s that... You know, he didn't have to worry about his citizenship. Because his parents were citizens. He was citizens. You know what happened to him? He got a fucking deportation notice. Seriously. We're gonna deport a 90-year-old veteran that fought for this country so it could be free. But we're not going... We're not going to deport all the Mexicans and other, other groups that are here illegally. And when I say illegally, I'm saying they don't have work, proper work papers. They they are not citizens, and therefore are not obligated. We are not obligated, obligated, obligated to take care of them. You know, they talk about how they want to be citizens, but you know what they do? They create their own mm, versions of the communities that they left previously. Now, the whole point of integration with another their country is that you adapt to their ways. You can still retain your culture, but you don't go turning it into the country that you left.
I mean, one of the whole points of integrating with another country, if you decide to become a citizen there, is that you learn the native language. That was the key requirement for, for any country. But, here in the U.S., uh, no. The, the illegal immigrants, you know, the, um, the migrant workers, no. They don't have to learn English. And we keep putting everything in Spanish. Now, I have no problem with other people. I have no problem um, um, with Mexicans or other minority groups. What I do have a problem with are illegal immigrants. Namely, that they come here, they mooch off the system. They don't... They don't have to pay for insurance. Or taxes. Scissor fees. They don't have to register. None of that. You, who as a taxpayer, have to pay for all the, the problems that they cause. My problem is, is that they leave their country and bring with them all the bullshit from their previous country. We're talking drug cartels, organized crime. Smuggling, human trafficking, all of that. But, you know, that stuff could easily be solved if we step up for border security, but no, no. Mexico's fucking burning in a fucking civil war. And that's really what I think it is. It's a fucking civil war. I mean... The, these are these these cartels with their numbers and the weapons they got. They're like a fucking fucking, fucking underground 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 army, and that's what they are. I mean, hell, they've got bazookas, they've got machine guns, they've got assault rifles. I mean, the police. You remember the you remember the footage the footage and hell you can find it there on YouTube the damn cops over there in Mexico were so outgunned they had to call up the army everything it's completely back ass words everything's falling apart but all we want is Oh Lindsay Lohan American Idol oh. Let me tell you something. Television shows don't matter if you don't have the freedom to watch them. It doesn't matter if you don't have the money have the money to pay for the goddamn electricity to keep your fucking idiot box running. I just don't understand it anymore. I just really don't. A lot of these, these problems are easy. It could be so fairly easy. But nobody wants to take the responsibility to fix them. Nobody. It is a sad day in this country.